Welcome to Averitt's Favorites, insider travel secrets that will make your next travel a breeze. David and Catherine Averitt have learned a thing or two in the last few years. They have made every travel mistake in the book, so you don't have to. Listen in for travel tips and tricks they have picked up along the road. Plus, find out about special promotions, affiliated discount codes, and free giveaways. And now, the hosts of Averitt's Favorites, David and Catherine. Looks like we're live. It's been a while since we broadcast. So are we live on Facebook? I'm still waiting. Facebook's slow. Facebook is still slow. A little bit. A little bit. Let me see. Refreshing. Refresh, 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 refresh. Favorites? No, not yet. Posted by Restream. Is it? All right, here we go. Oh, it is? Oh, Averitt's Favorites is live. The worst Valentine's gift. So, Averitt's Favorites, worst Valentine's gifts. Yes. In that's, light what of, we're, that's what we're going to talk about. Yes, because we just had Valentine's Day on Friday. And so, so... Tell us why what, are we so far apart? Why are we so far apart? I don't know. Well, it, there's someone in between us. It's between <laughs> us. <laughs> it's a dog. Okay, what are All we right. talking about? So we're gonna talk about the worst Valentine's gifts that people can get. Granted, yes. Valentine's is already over, right? Yes. Okay. So what are some things that are the worst Valentine's gifts? One is recycled gifts. Or re-gifted gifts. Well, what's wrong so with what's either? Wrong with, what's wrong with uh, recycled gifts? Well, if it's a gift, it's that, cheap. If it's a gift you got from a past sweetheart, that's probably not appropriate. Or you purchased for a past sweetheart but never gave to them. Or when somebody just gave you a gift and you just did not use it. Yeah, no. So it's how not many? Personalized. All right, how that's many not special. You didn't think about the person. Doesn't matter. Shit. How many people? How many people use reusable gifts? I'm curious. Well, from my internet reading, quite a few. Quite a few. Quite a few who complain about it on public forums such as social media. But wait a minute. So, how, how do they know it's a reusable gift? Well, one person, her boyfriend gave her a bear that said, love Sarah. So his ex-girlfriend gave it to him and she just, he just gave it to her. Oh, and now that's something he, he didn't really check the no. whole bear out. <laughs> But still, you need to put thought. It's for your Valentine. So you would think that you think of them before you purchase them a gift. Okay. Not just find a random. All right. So what is, so what is another uh, uh, worst gift that you can do? Give them a domestic appliance. Okay. Something you can do housework with. Mm -hmm. Or that you have to. Some people do request that. And I know I think we talked about this at Christmas time. If, you know, they say that... Um, a vacuum cleaner is a bad gift to have, mm -hmm. but if you want one like a Roomba or a Dyson, that'd be a nice gift to have. But to buy someone something so they can do chores for you, to buy your wife a cooking <laughs> something so they can make you soup. Soup? <laughs> like buy me a new soup pot. Uh, okay. I wouldn't like that. All right. So number one is don't use reusable gifts, right? Recycled gifts. Recycled gifts. Number two, no Number domestic two, gifts. No domestic Unless gifts. Unless it's requested. Because some people, you know, want a new instant pot. Or they want a new coffee maker. But what if, but what if you sit there and sit there. put uh, hearts all over it? But they probably don't want something to make a chore for themselves. All right. So, so what is another one? Another one would be... Tickets to an event that's supposed to be for both of you, but only one enjoys the event. Okay, so if one likes going to a basketball game, mm -hmm. the other person doesn't. And the tickets are for the one who enjoys it, is the one who bought it for both of you. Probably not a good gift. So buying tickets is not a very good one. If you are the one who enjoys it and your Valentine does not, it's not a good gift. So, but if you both enjoy it, like last year, okay. can I tell what you yes, bought us last year? Yes, yes. Last yes. year he got us Disney on Ice tickets. On Valentine's? For Valentine's, we went on the 16th. You said it was for Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, yeah, I remember. How'd you like that? I loved it. Was it... Do we get great seats? We got fantastic seats. 
So, all right, so that's a gift that you like that both of us liked. Yes, but let's say you didn't like Disney on Ice mm -hmm. and I did and I bought them for you for Valentine's Day for us to do together. That would not be a good gift because you would know I just bought them for me. So <laughs> I wonder how many people out there made a mistake of a bad gift and it's already Valentine's so it's already yeah, over. Yeah, how do you make up for that? How do you, yeah, do you go back and redo it? I don't know, many of the stories I read online are the significant other didn't last very long. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't make it to March. They didn't make it to March. <laughs> How about buying a big huge teddy bear? That is a no, unless you're five years old. Mm -hmm. Because it's not practical. What's a human gonna do, what's an adult going to do with a giant teddy bear? How about a medium sized teddy bear? What is medium sized? Medium size. Show me with your arms. Like this size. With flowers. Okay, that's traditional. All right, what about? I wouldn't like it. Flowers. <laughs> what about fla flowers? So what I read about flowers is they need to be not cheap, mm -hmm. like half dead clearance flowers. Okay. So, let's see if anybody says that on Facebook. Let me see anybody on Facebook. What do they say? Okay. Uh, sorry, I just had to check inside the Labrador's mouth. People on Facebook. Uh, is it? Sarah Price is watching. Oh, okay. We have one person watching and no one commenting. All right. Now, is that on your personal page? No, it's on our fan page. What's going on over there? He's eating paper. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Keep some quiet. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I didn't get up. All right, so here we are. So worst Valentine's gift, number one is? A reused gift. Okay, and number two is? A domestic huge... gift. All right. Number three is? An activity for both of you that only one of you enjoys. How about a big chocolate heart? Is that on that list? I mean, it chocolate is. heart like it, this, this thing. It is on the list because I guess normal people don't like to consume that much candy. Well, they can always put it in the refrigerator. I don't know. I don't. I don't mind using the chocolate well, over you, put it in the refrigerator. You're different. <laughs> <laughs> I have more. Okay, go ahead. An item that can be taken as a backhanded insult. For example. Okay. Example. A gym membership, workout attire, or utensils. Unless some people are into that and they really like it and they request it. But if your significant other doesn't go to the gym or lift weights, probably should not buy them a gym membership. Let's say um, wrinkle cream. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? <laughs> what? Say that again. <laughs> Wrinkle cream. Look, okay, now wrinkle what, reducing what, cream. All right, so what, what if you go to the uh, the makeup store and get the cleansers and all that stuff? Is that a Valentine is gift? Is that a Valentine gift? If they asked for it, I would say yes on their own. No. All right, but what if ladies don't like flowers and chocolates and and all that stuff? You find what they like. All right. You all did. Right. Maybe they do like going to the gym. That's why I said, unless they like it. Right. But it shouldn't be something that can be taken as a backhanded insult. <laughs> All right, what's next? <laughs> um, if you're buying them personal items such as clothes, make sure you get the correct size. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, but here's a good thing. They can always take it back and use the cash, I know, right? But if someone is a size medium and you get them an extra large that would be kind of offensive that you think they're that big. True. So that's why you better be sure you know the size. All right. So what else are the worst gifts we can get for Valentine's? Well, those are the common ones. All right. So some, go ahead. Some people say that they got some, but it's not like those are common things, mistakes that people can make. So what have you read so far that somebody just totally went um, All out on social media, I say this is the worst Valentine's gift a girl, I ever got. Go ahead. A girl gave her boyfriend her old cast. Like, she had her foot broken, and she took off her cast when she saved the cast mm -hmm. and gave it to him. Okay. And what did the guy do? He kept it for a day and threw it away, and they were, they broke up. They broke up. All right. Hey, there was a, uh, um... 
So does girls, ladies, whatever, like whole bunch of balloons and flowers and? I would imagine some girls do because they sell them, right? Yeah, I true. think on Facebook, if you judge by what your friends get, because mm-hmm. some of people can't help but post what they got for Valentine's Day. I know I did. But a lot of people get flowers. They're very traditional. And it's and they enjoy neutral. It. <laughs> flowers are neutral, right? You cannot go wrong with flowers. Unless you cannot go. You can't. All Unless right, so someone like hates neutral. them, mm-hmm. and you get them for her. I don't know who hates flowers. Do you hate flowers? I don't hate them. But well, wait, wait a minute here. Let's talk about flowers just for a second. Okay. On your birthday, I purchased lots of flowers for you. Did you like it or didn't like it? I'm appreciative of them. <laughs> but di- but did you like not being the spotlight? I would say I appreciate them. I no. don't want to be ungrateful. I appreciate them. But now when Valentine's came, but you I did not told like me them. what? Valentine's, you said you you told me what on Valentine's Day. Please don't get me flowers. Okay. I like gifts that last more than a week. If he got me one thing of flowers, that would have been nice. He didn't. He got me like eight bouquets of flowers for my birthday. For your birthday. And he gave them to me in public. Okay. But now, it's, but here, but now you have flowers. Some of them died before the week was out. But so the flowers I carry over to Valentine's. So I just saved a lot of money on flowers. You wasted a lot of money on my birthday present that didn't last. No, it's the thought that counts, isn't it? So it, should we do a segment, the worst birthday <laughs> gifts ever? I mean, I'm not every woman in the world. Maybe someone would like eight bouquets of flowers for their birthday. <laughs> hey, you know what? This is true, everybody. I, I was trying to find a gift for Catherine. Uh, for Valentine's, and somebody <laughs> walked out um, from the store of getting a hundred balloons. Hundred was heart this balloons. at the dollar store? Yeah, it was. He, you heard it here. He bought my Valentine gift <laughs> at the dollar store. No, you bought my gift no. at the dollar store. I was. I remember, I was getting the chocolates. Oh, okay. Okay, getting all the chocolates. I'm for pretty Valentine's. sure those three roses you bought me from the dollar store. <laughs> Probably, it was right there. He gave but, me some silk roses for Valentine's Day. But see, but you, me, you said, you said you want flowers <laughs> that last a long time. Well, I made him prompt because I kind of told him that I like gifts that last longer than a week, mm-hmm. and he told me he's going to get me something that lasted forever. And the first thing he gave me was silk roses, and he said they'll last forever. They're but, from the dollar store. But now you have, where do you have those, those roses at? On our coffee bar And next in the to kitchen. what? Coffee mugs. And But you put it inside of the, the poppies, right? I put it in a vase of poppies that he got me for my birthday last year, so, which I like those poppies because they're artificial. And I like poppies, and they lasted they lasted. Now, but now you have Valentine's roses there too. So every time you look at it, see what's going on on our social media. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not much. Not much. <laughs> well, we're on the wrong one. That's why. You're the one who set it up. Oh, you're got to go to your personal one. But I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> 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 We're really rookies at this. We, yeah. Pretend you have to go know. to your personal I don't know one. how. Where do I go? Oh, right here? Yeah. Okay. Then close, close oh, that Oh, look. One. Now there's two people watching because I think I'm one of them. Um, go down. <laughs> but it's not on here. You didn't. Oh, it's You put it on the wrong page. No, I thought I put it on the right page. You put it on Abert's favorite. It's not Catherine Abert. Oh, no way. That's what you happened. sure? I'm positive because if we look here, it says Averitt's favorite. Oh, it's right here. It's telling us who's on there. Hey, I also have potted flowers so they can watch the bloom over again. Oh, potted flowers. Yes. The problem with that, Sarah, is um, I kill them. Not on purpose. Just I neglect them to look at them or water them. <laughs> All right, so what else? Another <laughs> worst things we can get <laughs> on, on on Valentine's Day. Sorry, I'm just thinking about killing flowers. Um, worst gifts: um, a picture of your cat. 
picture of your cat. Mm-hmm. Someone said that their boyfriend gave him a picture of his cat. Well, that was a terrible <laughs> gift. <Yeah. laughs> Can you imagine? Why, why, why would somebody give a, a cat? Maybe she liked the cat. Oh. I don't know. All right, so what else? What else is another worst? I'm running out. Of I thought you generic had a list. Items. I did. I have a list. I did All right, have a go, list. Go, 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 go. But it list. was like not generic. It was very specific examples. Mm-hmm. Where's Valentine's gift? Uh, do you see that I have a friend, uh, Grizzly? Yeah, hey Grizzly, down Grizzly. Expired coupons. Someone gave them an expired gift card. Okay, and what else? Roses that had someone else's name on them. <gasps> he that, gave that his wrong been, girl. That would have been terrible. Um, a breakup email or text. Breaking up on Valentine's Day. Oh. A, a confirmation delivery of flowers, but no flowers. <laughs> I think they need to go outside. Yeah, I got it. I'm closest to the door. Um, a talking bear. A talking bear. They were only dating for a few weeks, and uh-huh. he gave them a bear of him talking, and then they broke up. So, so what did the talking bear say? I love you. And they weren't there yet. <laughs> is, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, and what else? What else Roses you got going on? for somebody on? else. A breakup email. Money with borrow, borrowed money. Someone said that they're at the store. <laughs> Someone has to borrow money. <laughs> borrow money. You can buy a gift. Now, that's got to be a young person. <laughs> maybe. Um... <laughs> what? <laughs> A toilet seat. A toilet seat. <laughs> no buying. Um, hey, no, I like this one. A confirmation of delivery, toilet. but no flowers. <laughs> like I promised, I fought them. Jumper cables. Jumper cables for Valentine's, unless unless <laughs> the girlfriend's constantly running out the battery. Yeah, but that should be like not for Valentine's, just because you care about her and you don't want her to. I don't know. An oversized tank top that was supposed to be a dress. Okay, I'm gonna like that. Uh, hair. My husband, then boyfriend, this woman married this man, once gave me a picture frame filled with his hair. He thought it would be romantic, and I didn't agree. She married him. <laughs> here, <laughs> here you go, my love. You want, you want some of my hair? <laughs> Dental hygiene products. Uh, why? Why do you get that for Valentine's for? Um, a gift representing. Exactly the opposite of who you are. Uh, oh, like a picture of a cat when they like dogs, etc. Uh, I see. Uh, Heart made meat. <laughs> <laughs> a gift that's from the heart, but what about meat? You know, I did when I was looking for your Valentine gift. They do have these man bouquets that are like rose shaped jerky. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So they're pieces of jerky shaped like roses on skewers. Would have you liked that? Yeah, that's funny. An appliance or a cleaning tool. Uh, a hair trimmer. <laughs> oh, the hair trimmer. Uh, I can't say that. Right. Someone uh, use perfume. Oh, use perfume. But how do you know it's use? Uh, the bottle's partially empty. <laughs> A jewelry box with no fancy jewelry in it. <laughs> oh, see, oh, a uh, black coffee mug. Someone said don't buy coffee mugs because they're too generic. But I would like a coffee mug. I guess I'm weird. I'd like a coffee mug and not flowers. All right, so let's wrap this up. See pictures of pets. All right, let's wrap this up. A garbage you can. You <laughs> don't like flowers. I like flowers. Okay. Maybe one flower. <laughs> Maybe. You don't like chocolate. You don't like I desserts. I love chocolate and desserts. I choose right. not to eat them. So what did... <laughs> what, all right, no, no, let's go back. All right, let's go back here. You built up. All right, let's go back here. You tell everybody the five things that you bought me for Valentine's. The five senses. Okay, so I got him a gift, a sense gift, because it makes sense that we're together. <laughs> 
So for hearing, I got him a musical card that sang a song. Okay. That's personal. Mm -hmm. And then um, for touch, I got him socks. For sight, I got him a tie because everyone can see it and a wallet because he can see his things. This man was using a rubber band. He needed a wallet. <laughs> Uh, for taste, I got him a giant box of chocolates because he is one of those people who likes a giant box. And for scent, I got him cologne. Cologne. Now, she put a lot of thought into the gift. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, it's <laughs> difficult because she doesn't like flowers. Difficult. She doesn't like candy. She, she doesn't like desserts. She doesn't eat none of that stuff. Uh, she already has makeup, <laughs> cologne, jewelry. It was jewelry on that list of, of not to get on Valentine's? No. Okay. Unless, no, unless it was a nice box and cheap jewelry. But but a couple weeks ago, you already bought all the jewelry. I bought one pair of earrings. You bought three items of jewelry. With the Mickey Mouse, <laughs> <laughs> the earrings. Actually, it took Valentine's away from me. I go to Kohl's and buy things on clearance for $10, and apparently I took Valentine's away from him. So, but I did come up, and I, I prepped tell her. Tell what you told me. Okay, I prepped her for this, okay? I told her it was unique. Because my birthday present didn't last for a week. Okay. Okay. So, based on all the stuff that you heard, I told her, and I prepped her, it was unique, right? And, mm-hmm. Different. Different. It will last a long time. And I love it. And you're going to love it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so tell the audience, <laughs> what did I get for you for Valentine's? Well, I was thinking something that would last forever. A diamond. No. <laughs> <laughs> I will use it because I, I don't know why he likes to buy me things that I won't use. Okay. Right. So but flowers you're using it, so aren't said, you? He said it'll last forever. You'll love it and you'll use it. And what is it? <laughs> a sweatshirt. Okay, a sweatshirt. And the, what, what's on it? Bigfoot. And because you like Bigfoot. I love Bigfoot. It's and extremely thoughtful. Very extreme. And look how many compliments <laughs> did you get throughout the day today. <laughs> I'm Bigfoot. Yep. So tell everybody what happened at, at the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> so it's paying for the groceries and the guy said you know I know this man who searched for Bigfoot he had this truck and he used to go out in the woods and go camping he didn't have a job he said his job was finding Bigfoot and see and there I you go <laughs> you brought up a discussion <laughs> off of a Valentine gift it's a sweatshirt and it was Bigfoot on it which you like Bigfoot I love Bigfoot I just was not expecting now the expression <laughs> on her face was <laughs> Home run expression. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? Like 50 times. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All I could say was, thank you. <laughs> but later on, thank throughout you. the day, throughout the, couple, the last couple days. No, like an hour later. Hour later. Because he wanted me to wear it out to dinner. He <clears> said, <throat> put it on right now and let me take you out. I had... I had purchased a new blouse to wear for Valentine's Day, but no, he wanted me to go out with a Bigfoot sweatshirt on. <laughs> but now, looking back, it was a great memory. It's a great gift because great it, it gift put memory. in the thought. Correct. Of he knows me, that I'm cold all the time and I love Bigfoot. And that's, that was my Valentine's gift. So did, did I make out the worst gifts list? No. All right, good. Most unexpected gift. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that is it. We are done with this broadcast. So you can follow us on AveritzFavorites.com. Um, from there, you can go on our YouTube, our, um, um, our Twitter account, Facebook account. I will load this YouTube video up on 4K. And um, we'll have great audio and some laughs. So thanks for listening. And <laughs> please, Comment your worst gift. We yeah, want to hear. Yeah. Or something you've heard. It doesn't have to be for you. And we're so close reaching 100 subscribers on YouTube. I'm Where are we so, at? We're at 95. <gasps> 95. Five people. 95 more people. You so, know, I just want to say, there's a person we saw on YouTube yesterday, and they had like 15,000 views, and all they did was ate a gummy bear. <laughs> yeah, I know, just like gummy bear. All right. 
we're more exciting than that. All right. See you guys later. All Bye. Right. Bye.